My name is Grace Nyambura Karimi. I've been a DJ for the past 10 years, also a journalist. I chose the name Redbone because, first of all, my favorite color is red, as you can see. So I wanted something that will rhyme with the, the word red, so I settled on Redbone. I remember when I was in, I think, Form 4, that's when I told my mom that I was thinking about being a DJ and she was like, hey, you can't be serious. After high school, I think I stayed at home like for like three months. Then now I, I went and did computer, I did driving, and then now I did um, DJing at Homeboys. Um, that was in 2009. And then in 2010, they gave me an internship at Homeboys for like a year, and that's how my career began. Life at Homeboys was really fun. I, and I remember I was really shy starting out, and I, I'm still shy, but I'm, I'm trying. So it's opened up my confidence a lot. And later on when I joined, I joined Kaka Empire. And I remember being so excited to finally be in a group. But later on, I, I, I came to realize that it was not what I thought. I expected the manager to be the one to get for me gigs. Like, yes, I'm getting gigs on my own, but the contract said he was supposed to get me like extra gigs. But then I was not getting any gigs from them. And then they started saying that I should be paying them even the gigs that I'm getting for my, like for on my own. After leaving Kaka Empire, I can say it was a bit challenging at first, but now later on, I found my ground. And I think as an independent DJ, I enjoy it more. It's harder, but it's really awesome. My career as a journalist, in my career as a DJ, I think they come together um, at, at home with radio because now I am doing radio and I'm still DJing, so I think that that's how they come together. Being a wife, I'd say it's not really hard to balance. Like if once once you know you're on the same page with your husband and he supports you, he takes me to my gigs, like most of them, he really understands my passion. So when it comes to balancing, it's just, it flows. I'm Ken Kirenji. Uh We met with Nyambu in 2003. Uh, I just moved into Buru. Uh, so I saw a chick playing up outside, so I was like, hey, who's this? But uh, much later I came to realize uh, she was uh, actually our next door neighbor. Uh, we were house number 246, uh, she was house number 247. So that's where we grew our friendship up until 2009 when we started dating. I think from there, uh, the 10 years, I think uh, it's been awesome because uh, I, I married my best friend. So for me, the journey has been worthwhile. Uh, if I was to do it again, I'd still choose her, so... I can't say it's been a challenge. Okay, it's taxing sometimes because, you see, I'm an 8 to 5 and her, her work starts past 5. So sometimes trying to create that balance between coming out of work and uh, going for gigs. It's tiring, but for me, it's the support that I'm giving her, uh, and I always ensure I'm there for her. Uh, it's it's obviously not easy. Uh, most people are always asking me, "Hey, unata demi ako nde kwa club busiku na uko apo?" You know, maybe that time I've traveled or uh, probably I was working late, etc. But I guess it's it's about trust uh, and more of. Uh, you know me, I know you, we've been in this together, so uh, it's always been about um, me wanting to see the best in her. 
and how I wanted to, to see the best in me. So I'd say what what I've done is working hard to prove myself. Like you have to build a name. And finally, like after ten years now I've built my name. It's easier now for me. Like I don't have to face those challenges anymore. But work hard and prove yourself. Prove your skill and improve your skill until what was the work schedule like hey, hey, we are working a machine. I've actually mentored three people. I've mentored two female DJs, DJ DDA and DJ Temi. Um, but I think the, the person who has really benefited from my mentorship is my husband. Because now we with him, I teach him, I'm like, hey, hey, and now he can, he can really mix, like, as good as me. The biggest awards I have received as a DJ were, um, I won Female DJ of the Year in 2015 and 2016 at the Stylus DJ Awards. This is the award. It was Female DJ of the Year, 2015 and 2016. Stylus DJ Awards. Um, anybody who has a female DJ, uh, any man or guy who has a female DJ, you just need to support them because uh, the biggest thing they need in this industry is support. As a female DJ in the industry, this industry is not easy, but don't give up. On social media, you can find me on Facebook, that's DJ Redbone. On Twitter, at DJ underscore Redbone. On Instagram, it's DJ Redbone Kenya, one word. And you can also find my mixes on Mixcloud, just search DJ Redbone.